Hey guys, in today's tutorial we want to show you how to build a guardian farm in your 1.8 world so you get lots and lots of this prismarine shards so you can make the prismarine and the sea lanterns and all the good stuff. For this tutorial I'm joined by Iosa, we developed this farm together in the last couple of days or weeks already and uh, he will make a tutorial in German too, so if you speak German, please go to his channel and watch the tutorial in German. That might be quite a lot of fun for you. And as you can see, we uh, we are getting quite a lot of spawn rates in this farm. And um, exactly, this should be around 15,000 items per hour that you get. As you can see, it's filling up super quickly. And this tutorial will be uh, split into two parts. In the first part, we will show you how you can get rid of all the water and uh, the ocean monument, because uh, of course you need a mo ocean monument for this. And in the second uh, part, we will show you how to build this farm itself. So if you want to skip the first part, because you know how to get rid of the water easily, uh, then there will be an annotation now on the screen that you can click to get to the tutorial directly. If not, we'll see you now in just a moment in the tutorial how to remove the water and the ocean monument. Alright, we've got a new temple now here and now we want to show you how you can get rid of all the water. And we figured out a few easy to follow steps that you can use for getting rid of the water around the temple. And we want to show you how the whole process works in a huge time lapse that we want to shrink down so you can uh, see us clearing the temple uh, like you would do it in uh, survival. And the first step is to grab yourself some sand and then you need to build some pillars that are around the temple and you could just go to one of the corners, go three blocks diagonal, so to here, and build up a complete pillar. I've got now a respiration helmet uh, on and some night vision so you can see a little bit better and uh, of course you can use uh, the Depth Strider en Enchantment 2 to get uh, faster underwater. And uh, yeah, you do this pillars in all the corners and then you just connect them to walls out of sand. So you've got a nice wall around. If you're super rich, you can even do this out of another material like glass. That would look quite awesome in the end, but we'll show it now with uh, some sand and of course you can also already go into the temple and kill all the bosses, get all the sponge that is in the temple. There might be more than one room. In this temple there are actually three rooms uh, with sponges, so you get quite a lot of sponge and that we will need in the next step. But first let us show you how you can build up the walls. now that we placed in the walls around the temple and we also did one line already here in the middle and that's to show you how you can get rid of all the water then when you have the outline done. So the first line is uh, going from north to south that's important because of the behavior of the sponges and there are six blocks in between here and uh, then you want to find the east side of your area so that's in this direction for me and um, because you have six blocks you can't find the middle so find the one that is east from the middle so this one for me and then you can just go into the water one below the um, yeah, surface here and uh, place a block and then your first sponge and you can see that the water can't refill here and that's because of the walls then place two blocks and the next sponge and then two blocks again, next sponge and so on. And when you have the first line done, you can just go underneath, count out three blocks, so one, two, three, and below that we want to place the next block, sponge, two blocks, sponge, and so on until you reach uh, the bottom of the ocean or the monument. And uh, yeah, like this, you can then uh, get rid of all the water as soon as you um, have no sponges anymore you can just put them into a furnace maybe you have two sets of sponges 
where you have one in the furnace uh, cooking and the second one for usage. And we will now continue doing this in the complete area until we have the ocean monument without water. So enjoy the next time lapse. <laughs> the water is gone now you saw most of it in the time lapse but then recording crashed without us noticing it so we couldn't sh show you all but you see the temple now over here and after you cleared all the water around it uh, we recommend to go inside then and clear the water inside with sponges but be careful there are then all the guardians that spawned around the temple all collected inside the temple so it might be a bit hostile in there but I'm sure you will get this done and uh, then after you cleared the water inside as well you shouldn't see any guardians anywhere spawning and we want to show you now how the temple uh, looks like without the prismarine so I will get a command for that and uh, strip then the complete ocean monument. Alright, I marked the middle now with a few blocks and got the command to remove the prismarine. So it is uh, just um, yeah the right coordinates and then replace our prismarine with air. And now you can see how the temple gets stripped. And there you see that this temple actually has uh, more than just one sponge room. And you also see that we have quite lots of beds in there and there are quite a few mobs. And now that's all the prismarine gone out of this temple and we can re remove the other blocks just by hand. But there you can see, oh, it's even four sponge rooms here. So that's quite a lot of sponge that you can harvest here to clear the water then. And uh, yeah, then you have a big hole where you can build your farm. For the actual tutorial now for the farm, you have the middle right here and from this point I want to explain first how it works. So we've got floating water that floats downwards and we've got 10 blocks of water. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then we have a fence gate here, an air block here and floating water here. And then we have finally the, the bottom floor. So. Uh, from here on, um, that was now the corner, so the middle would be uh, somewhere like here. And let me get another block so um, I can show you uh, where you need to put your stuff. So we want to have a 4x4 four four hole in the middle and uh, just frame it in with any blocks that you like. So like this. And uh, then you need to count out eight blocks from uh, this point here and build a platform out to the side. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then cap it off with a block and a wall here going up to uh, 63 again. So the surface of your farm and I will do this now and be back whenever that's done. Your chamber should look like this now and we want to take care of the killing area now. So let's go to the middle here and we'll start off by placing some glass here. So uh, place four glass blocks so the guardians that uh, get washed underneath this block can't jump up anymore. And do this on all four sides so it looks like this. Then come to the middle and uh, grab a block and build four blocks down because we want to have four blocks of lava here in just a second and we uh, want to fill this with some glass because that looks uh, quite nice if you have glass here. So um, when you have the glass walls then in place, Janus will take care of the rest of them. You just place a ring of uh, solid blocks because on these blocks I uh, want to place some uh, signs so the lava doesn't flow down any further. And uh, for the signs, uh, just go one time around. But for the middle, you need to place uh, four signs in the middle too. So press shift and place them against the other ones. So you have uh, signs everywhere. And then you can grab yourself uh, something like dirt. That is, uh, yeah, doesn't matter if you lose it. And uh, go to the second block here. So you have one last block there and place a layer of dirt. 
I guess that's even Chorus Dot that I grabbed here. And uh, then place a complete uh, floor out of lava. And um, it's important that this is one lower than uh, this block here, so they have a bit of momentum when they jump into the lava. And then you can just punch uh, down to get rid of uh, the dirt. I hope that I got everything now. But that looks quite promising. And uh, this is then the lava cell. Oh, there's one dirt block here. So let's get rid of that. And uh, then we just need the killing area. So therefore go down uh, by two blocks again. And make it look nice however you like with some uh, windows out of glass or something. And uh, in here the guardians will be left to die. So on one side you can place your chest. And into this chest just place a floor out of hoppers facing into there. So all the drops will end up in the chest when the guardians die. And that's then the killing chamber done. Now we filled in two layers of dirt. One is here at the top part at the second glass block. And one is here with one air block gap. And these two layers are now to place in the rest that we need to place. Therefore we'll start at the downer layer and you need to grab yourself a fence gate. Now you can choose whatever fence gate you want to place if you want to uh, use birch or anything. But uh, you just need to place them down on the dirt block and open them all up. So we'll do this of course off camera because that's a bit tedious now. And on the upper layer you want to go ahead and uh, take yourself water and fill in the complete um, level here with water. So this is all uh, source blocks and you can just go uh, diagonal one time over and this should fill up. And when you have both of these steps done you can remove all the dirt again. So you have then floating water that uh, stops here at the fence gates. After a bit of tedious work it should look like this and as you can see there are already some guardians spawning in here. So the next part might be a bit more dangerous, but if we go inside we just need to place a little bit more water. So um, if you come to a corner you need to place one block here, place a source block on top. And then where the water is not flowing down anymore just place water source blocks along the edge. You can grab a new water source just from behind. And uh, do it until you reach the third block here, then place a block in the corner again, water on top and repeat the same thing all the way around. So Janus did this now already here, so we just have this side left. And then you can see that all the guardians get flushed into the middle and jump into this hole. So if we come underneath now, we should see that they are burning and dying over here. And it's timed like uh, this with the lava, so the guardians just stay in here for a short moment until they die and we get all the drops into this chest. And uh, then in the next step we'll show you real quick how you can build the platform on top. Now we build a platform up here at y equals 160. So this is our farming spot and there we have a nether portal so uh, we can travel to here quite easily. And I'm in game mode 3 now so we can demonstrate uh, how this farm works because in game mode 3 you don't trigger spawn uh, the spawn mechanism. But Janus up there is triggering it, so you can see that we get the uh, guardians spawning here everywhere, swimming down into the water streams and then uh, dying down here in our chamber. And as you can see in this chest, this is filling up quite quickly. Yeah, we hope that you liked the tutorial. And remember to check out the other perspective, especially if you speak German. Take a look at Janus' German tutorial of this. But other than that, feel free to leave a like. This was quite a lot of work. Leave us a comment what you think about this farm and if you are planning on building this in your 1.8 world. And then we'll see you in the next video.